Hi, it's Chester from Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Excel, and we're gonna look at how to include a watermark in your Excel workbook. So to start off with, you need to change your view from the default view. So I go up to the View tab on my ribbon, and then I'm gonna to go to the Page Layout View. Now what that does is give you the ability to add a header. So I'm gonna click into the uh, center part of the header here and I'm going to write my watermark text. So I'm going to first of all show you how to create a text watermark and then I'll show you how to create an image watermark. So just to keep it simple I'll just write giraffe and what I'm going to do is apply a bit of formatting to this. So if I go to home here I'm going to change this to a kind of light gray color and I'm also going to increase the font size. I'm going to take it up to 100 and I'm going to also change the font. It doesn't really matter which font you use. And I'm going to make it bold. And then what I'm going to do is just press enter till I get it down to where I'd like it to appear on the page. So I'll just kind of accept that, press enter, and you can see that I get my watermark. If I type into a cell, you can see the watermark appears behind my text. If I go to File and Print, you'll see that the watermark appears there. So basically you can make the text as big as you like by changing the font size up here. You can change the color, etc., etc. So that works fine for uh, text watermarks. What if, let me just delete that. What if you want to show an actual image as a watermark? Well, what I'm gonna do is I got to the header and footer tab, which appears when I'm in a header. And here I have an option for picture. So I click on that, and then I'm going to browse for a picture that I've stored on my hard drive. It's on the desktop. And there we are, it's the Blue Pecan logo. And I click on insert. And what I can do, if I just click outside of the header, you can see the image there. And it's a little bit bright uh, in the background. So what I can do is a little bit of formatting. So if I go back to the header and footer tab on my ribbon, I can go to Format Picture, and go to the Picture tab here, and Image Control, change it from Automatic to Wash Out. Click on OK, and you can see it kind of washes it out as you'd expect a watermark to be. And if I want it further down the page, I do just as I did with the text watermark, just press enter a few times until it appears in the correct place. Here's trial and error. You just keep pressing enter until it appears in the, the correct place on your page. Okay, that's all there is to creating a watermark in Excel. There's no like insert watermark feature, unfortunately, but you can basically use the header to achieve what you need to achieve. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.